amiguitos, and welcome to this week's episode of Cooking with Seha! It's Cooking with Seha! Seha! Cooking with Seha! Seha! Hopefully the first of many episodes uh, here on my new YouTube channel. We had a getaway from Instagram, the budget went up, you know, we got, we got some funds coming through. Special shout out to my sister for supporting Alejandro Nottarelli. No shade. Uh, today we're gonna be working on one of my favorite rice recipes. This recipe has been passed down from generation to generate. Okay, my mom gave me this recipe. Uh, and it's one of my favorite recipes of hers. I love making this rice. I love eating this rice. So I feel like you should too. Um, the first thing we're gonna do today is do some prep work. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, for this recipe, there's a little bit of prep work to be done. We're gonna start off with a white onion and we're just gonna peel off that nasty skin on the outside. It's not nasty, you know what? On the, on the other hand, it actually keeps the onion from being nasty. It's like a nice protective barrier, like the condoms that keep you from catching those damn STDs, you dirty little sluts. So we're gonna hit, we're gonna peel that off and you're just gonna finely dice this onion. So first we're gonna start by slicing it. My knife still suck, guys, but I make it work, I make it happen. Now finally dice a tomato. This is a Roma tomato. While we're at it, the knife is out, you know, might as well do something with it. We have a poblano pepper here. And then also dice your pepper. You're gonna dice your pepper and watch your fingers. This poblano pepper is what, is what adds so much good flavor to this rice recipe. It just, oh, it's just so good, you'll see. This is in cilantro. Just gonna chop a little bit up. Probably just about a quarter cup's worth of cilantro. We're gonna place over the top at the very end. Actually, psych. This cooks in. I'm more confident with some things over others and chopping them. Cilantro is one of those that I'm just like, hell yeah, like I know you, you know me. You're not gonna cut me knife, like we're good. So our prep work is pretty much done. Now we can actually start assembling. The only other thing I have up here is some queso fresco, which is gonna crumble over the top at the very end. This recipe you've probably never seen before. I'm telling you guys, it's amazing. Uh -huh. So I have a saucepan that's been heating up and to the saucepan I'm gonna add one tablespoon of butter and one tablespoon of corn oil You can use vegetable oil as well. I just prefer corn oil We're gonna let this butter melt and as soon as it's melted We're gonna start cooking our rice in it. So this is very quick. My heat is on medium medium high Add my rice in and we're gonna start cooking our rice until it's translucent So now, I get to add my onions and my tomato. Hell yeah, I love hearing a sizzle, y'all. That means we're really cooking, uh-huh. Oh, I love the smell of onions and tomato. There's so many tomato and onion haters out there and I don't understand you and I don't understand why. But you know what? I accept you. You accept me, I accept you. Cumin is very important to this recipe. You definitely add some flavor. You're gonna add half a teaspoon of cumin in there. Oh, I love the smell of cumin. Some people don't like it. It is a very strong spice. You don't wanna go overboard with it. But just a little dash to half a teaspoon. If you wanna do a quarter, that's fine, but 
then you wouldn't be doing what I'm doing and you might as well go cook with someone else because you're not cooking with Seha. Okay, so my onion looks pretty translucent and cooked. I'm gonna move on to my chile. Cook that in there. I'm gonna start stacking my bowls here. Oh, now it smells like the rice I have come to love, guys. This is so good. And it's good on its own. If you don't want to add the cheese, that's completely fine. If you don't want to cook it in the butter, that's completely fine. This can be a nice vegan vegetarian recipe without, you know, your dairy in there. This is amazing on its own guys I'm like it seems like I'm hyping it up but I'm like being honest like I really do like this rice like why the hell would I lie to you guys you're my fans you're what keeps me going every day when the world brings me down my fans bring me back up Okay, so we're gonna cook the chilies. Once your nose starts burning, cause you're like, fuck, like this chili is really going in on me. That's probably around the time you can move on. Okay, I have two cups of hot water, which I have mixed with some chicken bouillon. Very French. We're gonna add the two cups of water to my one cup of rice. Get what's left of that bouillon in there. Now I'm going to add some cilantro over the top, stir that, Ooh. I might have, no, 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 I didn't forget anything, this is exactly how it should be, alright, so let me just get this ready to cook, we're going to turn our temperature down to a low simmer, Cover that up and just watch it. As soon as the water is almost out of there, you still have some water, but it's cooking. You're gonna take your queso fresco, crumble it over the top, recover it and let it melt. Once that cheese is melted, this is good to go. Last step here, I took some queso fresco and crumbled it over the top. Now that I saw that my rice is almost ready, we're gonna cover that back up, let it continue to cook and the, rice is or the cheese is just gonna melt over the top. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, here we have it. Our delicious, ooh, it's steamy, motherfuckers. Yeah. This is our delicious rice recipe. Still going. I'm going to pair this up with some nice fajitas that I made, some chicken fajitas that I made as my main dish. This is a delicious side for fajitas. It just adds a little more depth to your meal. Oh, it smells so good. So, so excited, especially since I have not eaten since lunchtime. And I worked out because I go to CrossFit now. This is Cooking with Seha. Thank you so much for watching our very first episode on YouTube. I will see you next Tuesday. Y'all stay safe. Oh, I saw a freaking kid on the street today because he just got hit by a car from a lady that was texting and driving. So remember, please do not text and drive. Luckily he lived, don't worry, don't trip out. And then now you can go to my blog to see the recipe for this delicious rice. I don't even know, we need to name it. Actually, that's what we're gonna do. Please name this rice down below on the comment section. I'm sure myself and my mom would greatly appreciate it because we never know what to call it. We just say, hey, the rice with the thing on top. See ya. Thank you for watching. It's Cookie with the Hat!